Jessica and this is Janine and we are newborn photographers as well as we have an Etsy store called Props by Posies where we sell newborn clothes and props for newborn photographers and vendors. <laughs> uh, we sell patterns that make um, these, these clothes. Um, we have several patterns on our Etsy shop um, but we're going to start sharing a few um, free downloads um, for the more simple patterns and um, these are really patterns that are for beginners so if you're a beginner and you haven't sewn but you have a sewing machine it's for you so there it's very simple um, we're not professional seamstresses but it's just what works for us and you get very detailed instructions you'll love it so be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and um, there will be a link down below where you can link right to our Etsy shop and also where you can download um, some free um, tutorials, patterns and tutorials. So be sure to check back frequently and see what we've got going on. Bye. Hi, I'm Janine from Poppies and Posies Photography and Props by Posies. My daughter Jessica and I um, run, a, we specialize in newborn photography and then we also sell newborn props in our um, Props by Posies Etsy shop and on, on our website as well, propsbyposies.com. We also um, have some free uh, patterns that you can download with instructions and tutorials um, on our website. It's propsbyposies.com. You can go to the menu um, option that says free patterns and download those if you're interested in the newborn um, patterns. Um, today we're going to talk about three things that make uh, sewing so much more pleasurable. Um, the three things Things that I have come up with in the neck in the last little while since I've been doing more sewing for the um, for the shop doing newborn props is the three things is lighting and then needles and scissors um, first of all lighting is super important and helps you to be able to see so much better and not be so frustrated um, I have found this um, this light on um, Amazon um, and it's called the bright tech light uh, with a view flex and it's also so it's got a magnifying glass as well and an LED light and it has this flexible little neck and it just clips on your your desk which is super nice $29.99 I think it was on Amazon and has been a game changer for me love it um, my eyes are not quite what they used to be and this makes a huge difference so if you're working with dark fabrics or um, something that's just really um, harder to see this magnifying glass um, makes it so great with the light added to it It's even it's it's great. Um, the other thing is needles. Um, I think that People forget about their needles. They don't change them very often They forget about them until they break and then they're like, oh, I need to change my needle and they change it, but um, It's important to change it before that if you're working on a big project um, say a quilt you'll want to <clears throat> excuse me probably change it a few times during that during that large project but if you're um, doing something like I do just newborn props where you're sewing these little outfits you can probably get away with doing three or four of those before you have to change your needle but I have found many times where I am just frustrated and I just can't quite pinpoint why I'm frustrated it just doesn't seem like the, the, the sewing machines running smoothly or it just it's catching maybe um, and then it dawns on me that I need to change my needle and I'll change it and it makes a world of difference. So make sure that you're you're paying attention to your needle. Um, change it. It should be nice and sharp um, on each project. If you feel like it's not, change it. Um, the other thing is scissors and what I suggest with scissors is that you get just a really nice pair of scissors. Invest in scissors and then and then treat them like gold. If you invest in the scissors um, and just make sure your family knows they're not to cut paper with them and they're, it's only for fabric and they're not to touch them, <laughs> then um, it just they last so much longer. These are actually scissors that um, my mother had clear back when I was a, a young child. And we have treated them like gold and we've gotten them sharpened when we needed to and they're my favorite scissors and I will use them forever probably. Um, so just scissors are a big thing makes a big difference when you're when you're especially doing detail You want to make sure that they're sharp um, When you're doing detail work cutting out patterns and things like that makes a world of difference So it'll make just make your sewing so much um, so much better So it'll go so much easier so lighting needles and scissors pay attention to those three things and you'll be amazed at how much easier your projects are and um, That's really all I have 
um, for today. There will be more tips coming in the future, but thanks for watching.